Hello, my name is Lisette, and this is a welcome to your class. This is a vinyasa on the go class, so it's around 20 25 minutes. And today is a whole body experience, so we're gonna use the whole body arms, legs, everything. So get ready, get your mat on place, and we're gonna begin right on the mat, downward facing dog. So find your stance, find your down dog, and take just a moment if you want to. If it's maybe your first down, to, down dog today, you might be, you maybe want to kind of walk on the spot a little bit, so press one heel and then the other one, and make it mindful, so really press one heel as much as it goes down, and then the other one. Then come back, downward facing dog, find your stillness, breathe, look forward towards your hands, and take a few steps forward to the top of your mat, hip width distance apart with your feet, ragdoll, so grab your elbows, hang a little bit here, slide bend on your knees so you're not stretching so much on the hamstrings but you can really relax in, if you want to swing a little bit side to side you can do that, absolutely, and come back to center, toe heel your feet together, and then it's like a rolling motion, so you're going to roll up to stand, relax the head and the arms as you come up, and once you come up, draw the shoulders back, open your chest, mountain pose, Tadasana, so extend and we rotate the arms a little bit, find the breath, look forward, and we go for a few stone salutations, inhale, bring the arms over the head, look up, palms touch, exhale, fold in from your waist, Inhale, looking forward, come up halfway. Exhale, step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift up, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale to downward facing dog. Once again, a few breaths here. Get the breath normal in and after the nose. And press your heels back a little bit more. Find your breath. In and out through your nose. Then look forward towards your hands. Bend your knees, come high on your toes as you inhale. Exhale, step or jump forward to the top. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms over the head, look up, arms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. We continue. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift up. Upward facing dog. And exhale to downward facing dog. And remember that you can modify as you need to. You're at home, and depending what time of the day you're practicing, it always the body is always going to feel different. So see what works for you, and work from there. Inhale, bend your knees, come high on your toes. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up, arms over the head. Look up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. So on salutation B, inhale, chair, exhale, fold in, inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga, inhale, lift up, upward facing, and exhale to downward facing dog. Good, inhale, bring your right leg back and up to the ceiling. Warrior one, exhale, her right foot steps forward in between the hands, inhale, rise up. Warrior one, just one breath, inhale as you reach up, exhale, hands back to the floor, chaturanga, inhale, lift up, upward facing, and exhale to downward facing dog. So follow your breath, inhale, bring your left leg back and up. Exhale, left foot steps forward in between the hands. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. One breath here. Exhale, hands back to the floor. Chaturanga. Inhale, lift up. Upward facing. 
and exhale to downward facing dog. Relax the breath in and out through the nose. Now find your breath, ujjayi breath, so this is breathing with sound. And then allow the sound to guide your practice. So connect the breath and the sound and just focus on the way you're breathing. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, come high on your toes. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come up, chair pose. Exhale, hands palms together, standing up. There you go. You're going to start here, stay here on the top of the mat. Tree pose. So bring the body weight towards the right foot. So bend your left leg and then focus the body weight on your right foot. As you're standing on your right foot, you're going to bring your left foot in. Now that left foot goes above the knee or below the knee, but you're not pressing exactly on the knee. It can even go all the way down if you need your toes to find your balance and just opening that left knee out to the left. So see where it works for you, how high you can go for that left foot, and then make the connection. Press that left foot against the right thigh and press everything into each other as you lift the chest and find the balance. Once you find the balance, the arms go up. Find the breath in and out through the nose. So focus one spot. And bring your left knee pointing forward. You're going to let go of the left foot. I lost the balance. <laughs> you're going to let go of the left foot and you're going to start to kick that left leg forward. You can flex or you can point, whatever feels better with you. Find the breath, lift that left leg a little bit more, start with the legs. And release down. Good, give it a shake if you need to. I know you feel it on the legs. And bring the body weight towards the left foot. Tree pose on the other side. So find the balance, bend on your right leg. And then once again, see how it works for you on this side. My right knee is a little bit more cranky. And my left one, so it feels a little bit more if I really get to get, get high with the right foot. And then once you find the balance, press the right foot into the left thigh, find the connection, lift the chest, and lift the arms up towards the ceiling. Keep the breath. Focus one spot and focus on your breath. And then send your right knee forward, let, let go of the right foot, and then start to kick forward. Any amount, flex or point. Breathe, strong with both legs, if you can get a little bit higher with the right leg, I know, breathe, and let it go down, arms down by your side, relax the whole thing, there you go, inhale, bring the arms up, exhale, fold in, inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga, Inhale, lift up, upward facing, and exhale to downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, bring your right leg back and up to the ceiling. Exhale, right knee to nose. Hold it here. Inhale here. Exhale, right knee towards the left tricep. Inhale here. Exhale, right knee towards the right tricep. Inhale here. Exhale, right knee to nose. Then look down in between your hands and step your right foot forward in between your hands. Good. Inhale, high lunge. So rise up with the arms. Then that left leg is going to go straight as you can. Send your right knee forward. Breathe. Good. Focus one spot. Keep the breath. There you go. Hands down to the floor. So the back plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, upward facing. And exhale to downward facing dog. Left side, same thing. Inhale, bring your left leg back and up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Hold it here. Inhale. Exhale, left knee towards the right tricep. Hold it here. Inhale. Exhale, left knee towards the left tricep. Hold it here. Inhale. 
Exhale, left knee to nose. Look down in between the hands and step your left foot forward. High lunge. Inhale, rise it up. Woo. I'm getting warm. <laughs> Lift the arms up. Stretch your right leg as much as you can. Keep the breath. Normal in and out through the nose. Like it's one spot. Breathe. And bring your hands back to the floor. It's the back plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, upward facing. And exhale to downward facing dog. Good. Find the breath. And we keep going. Inhale, bring your right leg back and up to the ceiling. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, right knee to nose. And then right foot steps forward in between the hands. Keep your fingertips down here on the floor. Readjust your left leg. So walk your left toes back. You get long with this left leg. Keep the breath. Then from here, stretch the arms forward. Breathe. Find a moment. And then inhale, rise up. High lunge once again. Focus one spot. Bring your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Stretch the arms as much as it goes. Open the chest. Warrior three. So you can decide if you want to shorten the step first, or if you can go ahead and step from all the way back, from the back all the way forward. Breathe. Stretch the top of your head forward as you stretch your left leg back. Good. Release your fingertips down to the floor. Standing splits. Walk your hands back. You can grab on your right calf or your right heel if you want. As you pull the left leg up towards the ceiling, relax the head. Keep going with the breath. Good. Inhale, lift up halfway. Keep your left hand down on the floor. You're going to step back, back, back with the left foot. Side plank. So come to the outer edge of your left foot. Right foot goes back with the left. Right arm goes up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Stretch up and down with your fingertips. Find the breath. Good. Wild thing. Right foot steps back. Come high on your right toes. Lift the hips up towards the ceiling and stretch your right hand back all the way. You can stay inside plank if you don't want to go for a wild thing. If it feels okay with your back, go for it. Good. Then with control, you're going to look down. You're going to come back into plank position with control. Vinyasa, one leg vinyasa or plank, regular plank. And then exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale to downward facing dog. There you go. Let's continue. Left side. Inhale, bring your left leg back and up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, left knee to nose. Touch it. Look down in between the hands and step your left foot forward. Keep your fingertips down here again. Stretch your right leg back. Get high on your right toes, strong with the back leg. Like this one spot. And from there, the arms go forward. Find a moment. And rise up. High lunge. Good. Relax your face. You get a break after this one, I promise. <laughs> Bring your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Throw the shoulders back. Warrior three. Focus one spot. You come forward to stand. There you go. Into warrior three. Stretch your right leg back. Flex your right foot. Right hip down. Breathe. Good. Release your fingertips down to the floor. <laughs> Standing splits. Walk your hands back and lift that left leg up. Any amount. Relax your head. Breathe. Come on halfway up. Right hand on the floor. Side plank. So you're going to step back with the right foot. 
then come to the outer edge of the right foot left foot goes back with the right left arm goes up towards the ceiling find the breath in and after the nose focus one spot stretch with your left finger dips up towards the ceiling you can stay here or that left foot steps back wild thing and you go for the back bend if it feels okay for you today keep reaching up with the hips and back with the left hand and come back same way with control you can take a one leg vinyasa or regular vinyasa I mean like a one leg chaturanga and then we meet in downward facing dog when you get to downward facing dog lower your knees child's pose so draw the hips back and relax the head forehead down on the floor if child's pose feels uncomfortable with your knees just sit you know it's just a break if you need to place a block, a block on your forehead you can do that too and make sure you can relax the arms and the shoulders so the arms are not stretching forward so much you can just relax them There you go, downward facing dog. So now stretch the arms forward. Down dog. Now look forward towards your hands. Inhale, bend your knees, come high on your toes. Exhale, step or jump forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way up. Arms over the head, look up, arms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, bring the arms up. Look up, arms touch. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, upward facing. And exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank pose. So find your plank, hands underneath your shoulders, push the floor away from you, bring your feet together to touch side to side, and then keep your shoulders and arms as they are, and just drop your right heel down to the floor, bring that left foot on top, just twisting from your waist. Breathe. Hold it here, strong with the arms. Good, come back to center, left heel down to the floor, right foot on top, breathe. Try to keep your shoulders and the arms on the same spot. Breath. Good. Downward facing dog. Stretch the hips back. Allow the arms to relax a little bit. And we do it one more time. Inhale, come forward. Plank pose. Find your plank. If you need to modify, you can go down to your forearms. So lower your knees down to the floor and just hold it there. Right heel goes down to the floor. Left foot on top. Breathe. Come back to center. Left heel goes down, right foot on top. Keep the breath. There you go. Plank, downward facing dog. Now open your hands a little bit wider if you need to. We're gonna jump through. Bring your feet together to touch side to side. Look forward towards your hands, bend your knees, come high on your toes and step or jump forward to sit on the floor. And then once you sit down, just lay all the way back on your back. Bend your legs, bridge pose, hip width distance apart with your feet. So toes and heels on the same line, bring your heels as close to you as you can. Palms on the floor, throw your lower back down to the floor. So you're feeling your whole back pressing down then tuck your tailbone in slightly and from tucking your tailbone in lift the hips up towards the ceiling then from here interlace your fingers draw the shoulders in a little bit closer together flow away from here with your feet and lift the hips up chin a little bit away from your chest 
without pressing the chin back. Just think normal with the neck. Keep your breath. And with control, release your hands, lower your hips down to the floor. Open your feet a little bit wider apart and bring your knees into touch. Let your shoulders go out so you can relax your whole back down on the floor. Breathe. We're going we're gonna to go, sorry, <laughs> we are going to do it one more time. I'm kind of getting a little bit of a cold, so I can feel it on my throat now. There you go. Once again, same thing, hip with distance apart with your feet, bring your feet a little bit in closer together, draw your heels in close to the body, hands, palms down on the floor, tuck your belly in, tuck your, tuck your tailbone in slightly, and then from this moment of tugging your tailbone in, lift the hips up. Again, if you want to bring your fingertips, bring your hands, palms together underneath you, bring them, and then push the floor away from you, lift the hips, and once you get as high as you can with the hips, Try to draw your heels back towards your shoulders a little bit. They're not going to move. Just feel a little bit of movement. Heels go back. And once you bring your heels back, lift the hips a little bit more. And with control, release the arms. Lower your hips down to the floor. Breathe. We're going to do it one more time. If you want to go for full wheel, you can go for full wheel if full wheel feels comfortable for you. We haven't really been stretching or warming up the back so much. So if you feel tight on your shoulders or wheel is just not for you today, don't do it. Just do another set of bridge pose. So if you're going for bridge, bring your hands to the sides of the body. If you're going for wheel, then keep a distance apart with your feet. Breath, bring your hands to the sides of your head, fingertips pointing back towards the feet. Now the elbows, instead of elbows opening out to the sides, think elbows go up towards the ceiling. So hug your elbows in and point the elbows up towards the ceiling. Now we're going to do this in st and different steps. So inhale and just push up to the top of your head. As you push up to the top of your head, readjust your hands if you need to and hug your elbows in again towards each other. You can stay here if it feels okay for you. Inhale as you press on your arms and send the chest forward. Find your breath. Relax the neck a little bit more. Breathe. And to come out, tuck your chin to chest. Start to bend on your arms and lower down. So you bring the back of your head to the floor. Once you lay down, just relax the arms. Don't hug your knees in yet. Just give yourself a moment. And then if you want or you feel the need to, you can hug your knees into your chest. If not, just keep it. Breathe. There you go. Bring your right leg on top of your left. Twist the legs as much as you can. So if you can, that right foot is going to hook behind the left calf. Bring your left hand to your right knee and uh, drop your knees over towards the left side. Right arm opens out to the right. Look over the right shoulder. And come back to center. Release your legs, left foot, left leg on top of your right. Twist your legs. And then if you want, you can actually move your hips a little bit more to the left. Right hand on your left knee. And then drop your knees over, over towards the right side. Open the left arm out to the left. Look over the left shoulder. And come back to center. Shavasana. Legs down, arms down. Completely 
relax down. So close your eyes. Relax your breath. Breathe normal in and out through your nose. And then this is your savasana. So it's your time. The body should tell you when you're ready to come out from it. So you can take all the time you need once you're there. Thanks for joining the class today. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment if you can, please. I love to hear from you. Have a good, really good day ahead of you. Namaste.